anticipates that the Cadlau oil field will resume production in 2024. Nido Petroleum Philippines Private Limited plans to produce 20,000 to 25,000 barrels of oil per day from the Cadlau oil field off northwest Palawan by 2024, or when the Department of Energy declares commerciality. As part of its service contract commitment to the Department of Energy, Philadrill Corporation and Nido Petroleum intend to conduct exploration activities within the SC service contract 6B block in the first or second quarter of 2023 to assess the oil field's potential for commercial oil production, Nido Petroleum stated in a report to the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. According to Nido Petroleum, the SC-6B consortium intends to execute exploration activities such as a site survey, geotechnical survey, exploration and appraisal drilling, and an extended well test. Nido Petroleum is the technical operator of SC-6B and is in charge of the Environmental Effect Assessment Study, the application for a Certificate of Non-Coverage, and the Environmental Compliance Certificate with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources DNR. It will also obtain the Palawan Council for Sustainable Development's approval for strategic environmental planning. SC Service Contract 6B is located southwest of the Gallic Oil and Gas Field and southeast of the Malampaya Gas Field. It has a surface area of 533 square kilometers with sea depths ranging from 20 to 90 kilometers. The asset portfolio of Nido Petroleum is focused on smaller, lower-risk pinnacle reef prospects in the shallower waters of SC Service Contract 6B. Each target well in the shallow water area of SC Service Contract 6B is expected to hold 2 to 20 million barrels of oil, according to the company. The Bonita Field, discovered in 1989, produced approximately 765 to 2,107 barrels per day during testing. The Cadlau Field, which was explored for oil and gas in the 1970s and began commercial production on August 25, 1981, Cadlau 1 and Cadlau 3 wells at 11.1 million barrels of oil over 10 years, and East Cadlau, which will be a good prospect that could be developed and tied back to the Cadlau field production facilities. The expected capital cost for the development of three to four wells in the Cadlau field is $8 million per well, according to the business. Drilling activities are anticipated to include the placement of a rig 600 meters south of the Cadlau 1A position at a water depth of roughly 18 meters. A floating storage and offloading unit will be moored around 600 meters distant from the rig. The first phase will include an extended well test, with one well employing a mobile offshore production unit and an FSO unit. Phase 1's projected oil production capacity is 20,000 barrels of oil per day, while Phase 2's estimated liquid capacity is 30,000 barrels of fluid per day. Phase 2 will include 1 to 3 additional wells, with the option of swapping the Mapu for a smaller wellhead pressure and storage barge with lower operational costs. The oil capacity is predicted to be 25,000 barrels per day while the liquid capacity is estimated to be 50,000 barrels, with production expected to resume in the first quarter of 2024. Oil production will begin as soon as the Department of Energy DOE, approves the declaration of commerciality, Nido Petroleum said. The initiative would help to attain energy independence by supporting the Philippine Energy Plan 2020-2040, which calls for the restoration of indigenous oil and gas exploration activities in offshore northwest Palawan. The Philippine Energy Plan PEPS, goal is to drill at least seven oil prospects and six gas fields over a 20-year planning period in order to boost oil reserves by the end of 2040.